I bet you this house sells in multiple offers by the end of the weekend. Wow. larger than I thought it was going to be. Hi Julie, I'm Richard. Welcome to Vinaigrette. I'm ready to let go. Let's do some tasting. Sounds great. Hi Lenny. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you too. You have such a great big selection. And I'm excited to be a part of your project. Awesome. I'm ready to let go. Welcome to the American Dream TV, the show that is built on lifestyle, culture, and real estate. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs. In this episode, we are headed to Minneapolis, where we will be featuring Daniel and Julie DeRoche. Let's get this episode started right now. Search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial free, unscripted. I got it. These are stories for you and by you. I'm Julie DeRoche. And I'm Daniel DeRoche. And welcome to Minnesota on this beautiful spring day. Today we're gonna to check out Southwest Minneapolis. People move to an area like this for the lakes, the parks, the trails, and some of the best restaurants around. The walkability of this neighborhood is outstanding. I like to walk around 20,000 steps a day, and that's one of the reasons I'm attracted to this neighborhood. You mentioned lakes, but what I really love about Southwest Minneapolis is all the little unique neighborhoods. Right now we're in Lyndhurst, which has Minnehaha Creek that runs through it. But north of us is Linden Hills and Lake Harriet. I love the unique charm and that's what really draws people to Southwest Minneapolis. Today, we're gonna tour a new listing we have here in the Lyndhurst neighborhood of Southwest Minneapolis. This home is completely remodeled with all the things that today's buyers are looking for. After the home tour, we're gonna show you what living in these walkable areas is like. We're gonna head to Fulton to check out Vinaigrette a local olive oil and vinegar store. I love to cook, so I'm super excited to try their products. And then after that, we're gonna take you out of Minneapolis and head over to Stone Source, the company that's gonna be doing all of the countertops in our new custom build. You wouldn't believe how much work goes into that process. All right, well, let's go check out the house. I bet you this house sells in multiple offers by the end of the weekend. Wow. Julie, do you remember what this place looked like seven years ago when our friends bought it? I do remember it, and I'm super interested to see what they did. You're not gonna believe how great this one turned out. First impressions, what do you think? Wow, it looks completely different than when they bought it. I remember how dark it was originally, and it's so light and bright now, it's just adorable. Well, let me show you around because it turned out amazing. I don't know if you remember, Julie, but there was a wall here closing off this dining space from the kitchen space. I do remember and it was so dark and like, this is so much more open and for today's lifestyle, I love how the kitchen is open to the dining area. This is what buyers want right now. Yeah, this is how we're living nowadays for sure. And then back here, this used to be kind of a little closed off, dingy room back here. They turned it into a full mud room with the built-ins and everything you need for lifestyle today coming in from the garage. Yeah, this is great. I don't even think you thought that this was even living space back here. And nope. now it's a full mud room in Minnesota, which is so important with kids winter stuff and boots and jackets and just a great area that is really needed. Well, and if you're like me coming in from a, a long walk, <laughs> I need these type of space when I'm coming home with a dirty, wet clothes, so I love it.
All right, Julie, this is the first time you see this kitchen in seven years. What do you think? Well, I love it. It's amazing. It's, I love that they opened the wall up. It brings so much light into this area. It was such a dark space. I love the white cabinets, the light color countertops. Um, the stainless steel appliances are great. I just love the layout of the kitchen. And they have a farm sink, which everyone loves right now. Farm sinks are really in, so I love the farm style sink. I think for how small of a space it is, it works awesome. I can't imagine a family that wouldn't be able to function in here. Yeah. All right, Julie, I'm gonna take you downstairs to show you the basement, but just to finish explaining the main floor, we've got two really good sized bedrooms. One of them has a wall of built-ins, which is really unique in a house like this. It's it's very open, they're really good sized bedrooms. And then there's a full bath on the main floor that has really cool floor tile, and it's got the subway tile surround around the shower, really on, on trend for today's world. It's just perfect. Well, show me around. All right. It's a lot larger than I thought it was gonna be. I remember when they bought the house and it was unfinished and they've really done a great job of configuring the space. You have a space to watch TV, you have a workout area, you have a kid's play area. They really thought this through. I think it turned out awesome. And one of the biggest problems I find with these older homes is ceiling height. I'm 6'2", I'm wearing shoes that are an inch high and I've still got plenty of clearance here. So they brought in this beam and did a great job. I love that there's a bar. We, I, I just love hanging out in the lower level, enjoying a night and having this little refrigerator down here so you don't have to run back up and down the stairs with your beverages. Works out awesome. The rest of the lower level, we have a bedroom with an egress window, an awesome laundry room. A lot of these older homes, they're usually dingy and you know concrete floors. They did a full laundry room and it's beautiful. Three quarter bath that's really on point for today's style too. It really is a complete finished Beautiful lower level. This is a great lower level. I'd love to see the upstairs. I'll take you up to the master suite. Okay. It's really difficult to get a true master suite in these Southwest Minneapolis story and a half style homes, but these guys accomplished it exceedingly well. It has a really good sized master bedroom, but then there is a true three quarter bath and walk-in closet. Let me show you. And wow, this is a beautiful bathroom. It's just, I love the marble floors, the marble tile in the shower. This is a really big shower. It's a huge walk-in shower. Yeah, really great. And a nice big walk-in closet, which again is really hard to get in these old homes. You don't have walk-in closets in old homes that were built uh, in the 30s. No, a lot of them just have a tiny little two foot by two foot master closet. This one's got a very large walk-in closet. I'm loving it. Oh, my second favorite part of a house. I love entertaining outside just as much as I do inside. Outdoor grilling. I love that this one actually has a paver patio. No maintenance. Yeah. <laughs> if one, one goes a little crooked, you lift it up, and put it back down. You don't have to worry about cracks in the concrete. Big backyard and a two car garage. Does it for me. Great place to hang out. I could see hanging out here in the summer. All right, now that we're done checking out this beautiful home here in Lyndhurst, we're gonna head over to Fulton to check out Vinaigrette. Let's go. Here we are at 50th and Xerxes in the Fulton neighborhood. I love this little area. So many shops and restaurants. I love that we can come and get a coffee. Well, in my case, a cappuccino from Dunn Brothers. Love that they're local and at pretty much every corner around here. All right, Julie, you go check out Vinaigrette. I'm gonna see how many offers we already have on the Lynnhurst house. That sounds like a good plan. All right, I'll see you in a bit.
Hi, Julie. I'm Richard. Welcome to Vinaigrette. So nice to meet you. Thank you, Richard. Sure. Um, we are everything oil and vinegar, and so I want to introduce you to my wife, Sarah. She's going to come over and uh, kind of give you the layout of the entire uh, everything we have to offer. Awesome. Well, I love olive oil and vinegar, so I'm so excited to start tasting some. Hi, Julie. Good to see you. Hi, Sarah. Good let's to do see some, you. Let's do some tasting. Sounds great. Tell us about the shop and how this all works. Sure. So we have individual relationships with our growers, um, and we actually work with small artisanal growers around the world. So when people shop small with us, know that we too are shopping small um, outside of ourselves as well. That's great. I love that, and that's probably important to people. You don't know sometimes when you're going into a store, where are you getting, getting it, from? it from? Where is it actually coming from? The first table in our store is all just regional extra virgin olive oils from different countries. So based on the weather, the soil, the varietal of olive, etc., they're going to have different tastes. And just like wine, you will get every year a potential for, for variances okay. in flavors. So for example, Tunisia, they have a lot longer growing season. It is a creamier, richer, smoother, butterier, more mild flavored okay. olive oil. That is very, it's like very smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. The Greek, again, this is also based on varietal. That one's gonna be, it's gonna have a peppery finish. It's gonna tickle in the back of your throat, almost making you feel like you have to cough. Okay. But that's also what a lot of people are looking for in their olive oil. And I'm assuming this is kind of what we're used to when you go out to a restaurant and give you olive oil for your bread or something. Mm -hmm. I would actually say it's probably gonna be a little bit on the more mild side a okay. lot of times. Okay. Um, because they are gonna wanna put salt, cracked pepper, Parmesan cheese. That's really good See? too. Yeah. But that's the nice thing about coming here is that you get the opportunity to taste and find out the it's little really different good. nuances. My favorites, um, the vinegar. This is our 18 year aged balsamic. Okay. It's hands down our number one seller. It's about 60% of our business. 60%? That's a lot. one vinegar. <laughs> it's the Trebbiano and Lambrusco grapes. It smells really good. Macerated, open air fermented, and then aged for 18 years. Oh my gosh. So it's thick, syrupy, almost like a balsamic reduction in and of itself. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. And that's so actually good. what balsamic should taste like. I like to do this at home, and mm -hmm. I know a lot of people like to do this, mixing the olive oil and the balsamic together. And I know there's some like really cool flavor profiles that sure. you really wouldn't think of that mm -hmm. go together. Mm -hmm. And that's the fun thing. You can come in and you can play. We're more than willing to help and make suggestions, but you can come in and come up with your own creations. So you can just like, I can walk around and mix whatever I want. Mm -hmm. And then we can mix anything in a bottle for you. So if you didn't want to buy the oil and the vinegar separate, you can mix them together in a bottle and you've got an instant vinaigrette. Now, what about the coconut? The like, coconut is my favorite white balsam. <laughs> I love it. The coconut we actually brought in because we do work with a number of other small businesses in the area. Yeah. Um, and we work with a salsa uh, manufacturer and oh. brought coconut in for them for one of their salsas. And it was one of those things, it's a lot cheaper to bring it in in bigger quantities. Yeah. And so we put it out on the floor. I didn't put it on the floor because I don't like coconut. You don't? <laughs> well, there are so many amazing flavors here. I don't even know where to start, but I think I'm gonna have to walk around and see what Daniel's gonna like. All right, feel free to taste around. In the meantime, I will go ahead and get you some of that coconut white. All right, we'll All right. do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me in today, Sarah, and showing up the store and being able to get to taste the olive oils and vinegars. The American Dream is all about featuring local small businesses like yours, and I'm really excited that we got to show the story to our viewers. Well, thank you for having us. I really appreciate you telling our story. Well, thank you. I know I'll be back for sure for some more uh, vinegar. Sounds good. Thank you so much for your purchase. Thank you. Thanks so much, Richard. Thank you.
right, we're here in Plymouth, Minnesota at Stone Source. We're gonna make the final selections for our countertops, the new build in Edina. And if all goes well, I think Julie might let me actually have some say on the bar countertops. All right, let's go meet Lenny and see where this takes us. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you too. Good to see you. Thanks so much for having us in today. Yeah, I appreciate you coming in. Yeah, Daniel, why don't you go look at some bar tops like we were talking about. Awesome. So Lenny, I was in here earlier this week picking out countertops for our new house mm -hmm. and I was amazed at the selection you have. You have such a great big selection. Thank you. Well, I just want to come back with the viewers and kind of show them how your operation works and all the wonderful countertop options that you have. Great. Well, we've been in business for 17 years and we work with families that own their own quarries. So you get to see here is beautiful quarries and the stones that come from them and faux collections. That's kind of unique in our market. And then we get to show you your slabs today. Awesome, let's go check it out. Okay. All right. As you can see, some of the stones featured here yeah. are some of our exclusive. And for us, that means that we, we work with the families that actually own these quarries. So you're getting directly from the family? We get them directly from in the family. Italy. And then they get, to, yeah, from Italy or from Greece. Okay. And then uh, they actually will show us the blocks and we'll pick the specific ones that come here. Okay. So each one we get to see before that gets to here. All right. And what you'll see up here are stones that are both translucent. So you can either backlight them or you can just have it be without the lights. And okay. I can show you what that looks like. This one's called Jewel White. It's our name for it. Our family in Italy and a family in Africa worked together for the last five years to get the mining rights for this. Very cool. It looks so different with the light behind it. It really makes a huge difference and it yeah. can be done with so many different colors with it. Julie, we also have our quartz gallery. Okay. And with our quartz gallery, you'll see everything is underneath loam stone. And uh, that's our own brand. But what we do is we work with some of the largest manufacturers in quartz. And then they put their brands underneath our name okay. and allows us to give people the best quality quartz and an understanding of what they're getting. So it's the exact same material. That's great. You know what I love about your selection here is you have marble, granite, quartzite, and then quartz. And I know a lot of people get confused on what the differences are. Can you explain what the differences are? Absolutely. Everything that we're going to look at next is our slab yard, and it is all natural stone. Okay. So when we look at these uh, slabs up here, they're a block that comes out of the earth, and then they're cut like a loaf of bread. Okay. And that's what we're going to be looking at as natural stone. Quartz sounds familiar to another natural stone called quartzite, mm -hmm. but quartz is a man-made product, and it just has that name because of the quartz that's in it. Okay. So quartz is used with resin and quartz, and then it's uh, cooked to okay. give it that. And then a lot of uh, people really love the beautiful look of marble yeah. and are concerned about the wear, the tear, the maintenance. Yep. There's another material that's very similar, that's quartzite, not quartz, but quartzite. And it has the large, big, beautiful movements that you'd see in marble, and it doesn't have the granular effect that granite does, and it's actually harder than most granites. Julia, sure, let's go look at some of the slabs that you're looking at for your project. Okay, yeah, I mean, we have a big project going on and we're looking for different, a lot of different things throughout the house. Most important to me, of course, is the kitchen. Um, the house jewelry. The house jewelry, yeah. So the countertops in the kitchen. I like that white kind of marbly look. Good. But um, I think I have it narrowed down to one that I really love. But I know that there's one that Daniel likes too. Okay. I think the one that Daniel was looking at is our Tanzania. So this is a really special stone. It is from Africa, from the Tanzanian Valley. It's never been quarried before. This is actually the first time it's ever been taken out. It's from, from the first block. So if we got this, no one, it, no one else has it in their house? Nobody has it in their house. That's kind of cool. Oh, and then you, you like the our Cape Cod, I think we're looking at yes. today, correct? Yeah, mm-hmm. I fell in love with this block and I asked our factory what they thought if we would brush it. And to me, it makes it more like a living stone. Yes. And I think that's what attracted you to it. Mm -hmm. It has some beautiful gold colors in it. It is a quartzite, but gives that marble look, but it doesn't have the same makeup of that. So 
Our I cave pad is one of a kind. I love the brush look of it, and one thing that we're going to be doing and that a lot of people are now starting to do is they're doing the backsplash behind the stove also in the same material as a countertop. And I just picture this as the backsplash behind the stove. I think it looks beautiful. So Lenny, how does one start a countertop business? Do you believe it from the cigar business? No. <laughs> I started a cigar business in my early 20s. Okay. And what I loved the most about it was the families that we worked with from all over the world. Okay. Uh, so with getting into natural stone, importing the first container and meeting families from around the world is really what grew the business was that affection for working with those families and bringing it directly to homeowners where we can quarry material, you can select it and you can hand pick the stones that you want. Stay out of the fall zone. Okay, we don't want to get you're hit by that. You're fine there, but you're fine there. But it's really nice because then you see the stones that you, you can actually hand select the stone yep. and it can come over on our next container and you don't pay a premium from that because we're always working with those families to bring in a container. So that allows anybody to actually have something imported directly for them. Yeah, I love that. Like I know compared to some other places we've got countertops from, I just love that story of that you are directly going to those families overseas, sourcing the material yourself, picking it out, mm -hmm. and then bringing it back over here. And I think that's just awesome. One of the things I wanted to show you too is a new design that we have. It's called our Loam Freestyle Legs. And with this legs, we have different finishes. But what's really nice is you can take any one of the stones that we okay. import and for four or $500, some of the most exotic stones in the world, because they're remnants, you can have it polished and cut to any size you want. And with our freestyle collection, it can be in any part of your home. That's cool, so you can have a coffee table. Can you do like a, a dining table? You can do stuff? a dining room table, coffee table, and tables. And what's really fun too is when we're making your stone for your home, yep. Uh, it would be nice to maybe do a coffee table that matches it or a dining room table because yeah. it's just something to think about that your furniture matches right. your installation. So you're in the furniture biz too. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Lenny, thanks so much for having us in today. It was great to tour the showroom, see your operation here. I think the viewers are really gonna love it. And I'm super excited to see our countertops in our finished house. I am too. And I really appreciate you coming into Stone Source and letting me show you what we do. And I'm excited to be a part of your project. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna go find Danielle. Good luck. Well, there he is. <laughs> there was keys in it. <laughs> Well, while you were fooling around on the forklift, I had a really great time walking around the Stone Source showroom with Lenny and learning more about their operations. Well, while you were doing that, I did find what I think is the perfect bar countertop. It's like a light blue suede type look. I love it. I did enjoy riding around on the forklift, and I did damage my pocket knife trying to scratch some granite, but what do you do? Well, we've had a long day. Started out at Lynnhurst with that great property, then went to Vinaigrette, and now Stone Source. And the really cool thing is that both of the businesses we featured today are local Minnesota businesses that import their products from around the world. It's been a great day. Let's head over to Edina, check out the new build. Thank you for tuning in to the American Dream. As you can see, a lot has changed. Now they'll finish putting the roof trusses on, get our new Pella windows installed, probably start the siding, and then we're gonna start working on the inside. All right guys, can't wait to check back in with you in a couple weeks. If you're looking for homes in the greater Minneapolis area, then you are in luck. We have the DeRoche's latest listings right here. Let's check them out.
This two bedroom, two bath, spacious townhome awaits you at 11607 Elmwood Avenue North in Champlin. Located in a quiet, friendly neighborhood, less than five minutes to the Elm Creek Park Reserve, which offers activities including hiking, biking, swimming, and much more. This warm and updated townhome offers an excellent layout for entertaining that can extend out to the patio. Impressive living room opens to the warm kitchen. Upper level offers full bath, two bedrooms, including master bedroom with sun-filled windows and a walk-in closet. Laundry is also conveniently located on the upper level. It's just a short drive to stroll through the shops and local restaurants at Arbor Lakes in Maple Grove. 517 Olinger Road is a remarkable to be built custom home in the highly desirable Edina area. The five bedroom, five bath resident is situated on a half acre lot with a private backyard while the interior is breathtaking with spectacular great room featuring 18 foot vaulted ceilings. Room by room, you'll appreciate the attention to the high end finishes and superior craftsmanship, including oversized bellow windows, wood beam accents, and a true gourmet kitchen with Thermador appliances. Enjoy and entertain with three season porch and an expansive lower level with open media room, exercise room, guest bedroom, and more. Located in the historic city of Hopkins, this classic three bedroom, two bath, updated Rambler at 525 West Park Valley Drive exudes beauty and charm throughout. Sure to be your favorite space in the home is the fabulous sunroom with dual picture windows, filling the space with an abundance of natural light. Access to the patio and backyard, plus lovely built-in buffet with storage. Wood floors span the main level. Spacious living room, sun-filled dining room, open kitchen, and three roomy bedrooms. Lower level offers expansive family room and rec room. Only minutes to charming downtown Hopkins, providing you with tons of amenities and fun activities, including several local restaurants, breweries, antique shops, groceries, and much more. Above the historic Mill District in downtown Minneapolis resides 1120 South 2nd Street, Unit 910. Set in the Stone Bridge Lofts building, you're provided with stunning high-end amenities, from the elegant lobby that makes a lasting first impression, to the additional recreation spaces like the fully equipped fitness center, large community room, and outdoor spaces including the pool deck with hot tub, bocce ball court, and fireplace. Inside the two bedroom, two bath unit, you can find a gourmet kitchen equipped with a center island, subway tile backsplash, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, large pantry, and tons of storage. When you're looking to relax, lounge in your living room or on the oversized balcony with lovely city views. When you're looking to spend time away from your home, numerous Minneapolis restaurants, venues, and parks are just steps from your front door. We hope you enjoyed this latest episode of the American Dream TV in Minneapolis. Make sure and follow us on social media and engage in the conversation. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. In the meantime, cheers to your American dream.